Is sensitivity perhaps missing in the way we treat our workers? Is that something that, Karthik, again, I'm going to start, ask you to start off. Perhaps mm. is that part of the missing link? Maybe for some, because I cannot say everybody treat everyone very well. It's how your upbringing, your, the way you, you, you meet them. We all were foreigners at one time, you can say. Uh, my forefathers came from that country and all that. So they, you have, what is important is, they all have agreed that if they have workplace grievances, if they have dormitory grievances, they go to Ministry of Manpower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they go to Ministry of Manpower, that's where they know is the authority. So the, the free time it is, is how their friends behave, is how you spur on and say, this, this is, actually it's, as a group, somebody spur on. They, they say, hey, this guy happened, and you, why don't you help your friend? Right. And so they become a big group, uh, ganging up together. There were was, there was scenes that we saw, there were many who went to help. Same uh -huh. South Asians yes. went, went around helping these people. So if you really so look everyone. at it, Look at it, the workplace grievances they may have. We are not saying there's no workplace grievances, but there is a avenue for them, either ministry okay, of manpower. Okay, so they know where to address that. Or if they are but union members, they come to the union. We're also saying perhaps the way we, we relate to them, some of the people who frequently interact with them could be more sensitive and, you know. Yeah. The word I think use. the general point is that as Singaporeans, we expect mm. foreigners, foreign workers, mm. even mm. potential immigrants and immigrants mm. to know what our mm. social norms are, that we keep tight social discipline, we know what to do in public spaces. Yeah. But is it fair to put that expectation on the foreigners and as I said, even if they wanted to try, they would not be successful. And so we also have to um, make it a point to try to understand them as well. Uh, you know, uh, I think Ms. Denise Pa was talking about putting your shoes, putting yourself in the shoes of the people in that neighbourhood in Little India. But you also need to put yourself in the shoes of the foreign workers, their lifestyle, their livelihood. None of them wants to be treated harshly mm -hmm. and we make sure we don't. All of them want fair, fair treatment, we make right. sure we do. It's something we expect of ourselves, so we should expect of them. But of the social norms, that is something that is harder to set out in laws or go to MOM to find out how you're supposed to mm -hmm. behave. Mm -hmm. And, and so we must e exercise yeah. a bit of that tolerance as well. Yeah, I mean, there are basically a lot of interaction points. So yes. you know, I think it'll be good if all the people interacting are more sensitive. But in practical terms, I mean, I don't know if you can, you know, train every bus right. driver, every, you know, site foreman and, yeah. yeah. But, and even before this riot yes. uh, and foreigners being here, I think we also were trying to deal with how Singaporeans deal with each other across races, Agreed. religion, language groups, and it's not entirely always plain yeah. sailing and smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. So these are things we all need as a multicultural country. Okay. Well